big news right now. I'm going to just say it right off the bat. I hope you guys don't mind. What? Well, just the Baker Mayfield thing. Baker Mayfield. Uh, well, if you're going to do it right off the top of the show, you got to do the noise. I mean, so we're sitting here getting ready to do the show. We're about to talk about 49ers Dolphins, okay? So I'm just going to go there, and I don't mean to change the – but it's just you're getting right into it. I'm getting right into this it. Is, we're ready I usually want to talk to you and we're ready ask to you roll. out your weekend, but f- no. weekend we got football we got breaking to talk news. about. Right. But so we know. I mean, of course, Jimmy Garoppolo's hurt, done for the year. I was last night in the control room during Sunday night football, going, "Who's a team that's got three quarterbacks where one of them can maybe force them out of force themselves out of town? Right? Who's the who, who can pull that card? And then we hear. As we're getting ready to do the pod here. Yeah, Chris goes, oh, my God, it's happening. It's happening. I go, Baker Mayfield, they're saying they're gonna, the Carolina Panthers are going to release him. Now, he's going to have to clear waivers. Okay, so we'll see where that goes. But I just thought that was kind of coincidental with the 49ers and Baker obviously no longer a part of the plans of the Carolina Panthers. You know, now there's I would think there's some teams that try to claim Baker Mayfield. But he can also, with his agent and everybody, maybe just go, hey, we don't want to play for you, so don't pick us up, and we're going to make things miserable if you do pick us up, to where he could be there with the 49ers. I just found that very interesting. I think it's worth the thought, and I wouldn't be shocked to see it happen uh, by the end of today or tomorrow, whenever that you know official deadline of clearing the waivers happens. Yeah, it will be interesting because there are definitely other needy teams out there that right. could use a quarterback. I mean, Baker hasn't really shown much this year, or last year, or right. a little bit last year, but so he's still got to go through the process. It's not like the 49ers can just go everyone out of our way. No, we no. want this guy. Right. I mean, if, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. No, go you, you, What were you going to say? There? Well, I was going to say like, you, you, I mean, you're, you're right. And then I got to think like, you know, we were discussing, there's got to be some teams that maybe really legitimately like maybe the Colts, maybe they want to go, Hey, let's, let's get a look at them. Yeah. You know, and Matt Ryan, I mean, we know it's the end. You know, there's a team that at least somewhat makes sense, right? right? I mean, you, me, even teams like Atlanta. But if I'm in the waivers and I'm in front of the 49ers and we're in direct competition to then, you know, be in the NFC playoffs, like if I'm Seattle and I'm in the waiver wire and I'm ahead of the 49ers, I'm thinking about picking up Baker Mayfield no matter what. I'm just going, I'm not going to let the 49ers take him. We'll just figure it out on our own roster, and he's going to be here, and we'll make him – you know, part of our three quarterback situation. Well, and now I'm saying that Drew Locke might be like, well, then screw that. I want out of here too. So, and now Drew Locke's the new quarterback of the 49ers. So, it, but, but, but I think you guys get what I'm saying here. I'm yeah. just something to watch out for. Very interesting. And, yeah. you know, thanks for watching, homies. Hit subscribe to see all my unbuttoned videos. You get to see me, Ahmed Fareed, all the big player breakdowns, game breakdowns, player interviews, and my film analysis. So please subscribe. Chris Sims, unbuttoned. Peace out.